Welcome back to Flash Rock Live. I got no smart ass remarks for you tonight because the band you're about to see has got enough attitude for all of us. Sick Eddie.
mystery Vision in the dark, so sweet A mystery that changed my heart I got most of the work on my own. <laughs> Excellent. So. Excellent. As soon as he gets out, we'll have tomorrow. That's good. Hey, let me know when he gets out. Excellent. Rolling. Welcome back to Flash Rock Live. You just got through listening to Sick Eddie, and damn, what a sick set. Uh, and hey, I'm in the middle now. I'm the center of attention for a change. It ain't that nice sitting next to Dre. Aww. Aww. Hey, don't forget about me. <laughs> All right, that's number three on the list of fucking hugs. All right. Introduce yourselves. Tell them what you do in the band. Well, I'm Robbie. I play bass. I'm, yeah, I'm Dre, I play the microphone. Um, my name's Eddie, lead guitar. And I'm Dave, I play the drums. Alright, so she says she plays the microphone, but let's go, go to her first, because that sounds very interesting. <laughs> we got All special right. video for that. What's the webspace for that? Special yeah. video. Special uh, video. You go to the myspace.com forward slash sick eddie music, S-I-C-K-E-D-D-Y. And if, and if you notice, then, buttons were popping, so if you go to the site, okay. you'll get a lot more. My, <laughs> Anyways, all right. So as y'all out there heard, really great set. Another uh, one of the great Orange County bands that just totally rocks your balls off. Um, Crap! You lost your balls? No, I found them. I mean, they oh, kind of went rolling cool. around over there, but cool. I, I grabbed them, put them back on. You know, it's like you need those sometimes. Goodness. Emptied them out because I don't want anything. You know. Well, anyways, back to the band. 
So let, let me uh, let me get this this straight. Sick Eddie is kind of a, a newer formation of uh, I guess a kind of a conglomeration of several older, well-known Orange County bands. Yes, yes. Um, it was a, it's, it's it's kind of a funny story because it's one of those quantum moments where um, you wouldn't expect it to happen the way it did. And I think Dave, you, you were talking about it. I think you kind of kind of summed it up the best. Well, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I was. Uh, we were, I was out in Hollywood um, at the at the uh, by the Man's Chinese Theater, and I was actually playing on Chris Farley's star. And, um, story. and uh, I'm all tapping on on his star because you know yeah he was a, he was a good friend and, and I miss him a lot and everything. And anyways, that's how that's how uh, Dre and and Rob found me. I'm I'm sitting there playing the hell out of on a freaking star, and then they come up and hey, like you're a drummer and. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. So, um, so we go back to uh, we go back and, and, and to Orange County, and, and I jam with them, and I have this friend, John Bosco, and um, and they were wondering if we need, had needed a guitar player. And I said, Yeah, I got my friend John, my next door neighbor. So we bring Bosco out there, and, and uh, Bosco starts. Bosco comes, you know, first practice, he's fine, you know, but the second practice, he could hardly stand up. And by the third, Andrew was ready to kill him, and, <laughs> and uh, so 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 then so it so it, it was it was almost like the band was like done pretty much. So I went out to the I went out to uh, the beach, and it was kind of weird. I, I go out to the beach and I'm sitting there in the sand, just looking out in the ocean, and and a little about 20 feet, 30 feet away from me, I see this this guy with all the scuba gear. And I, and this, I, this is down in Santa Monica. And and uh, and and I'm and I'm looking at this guy with all this scuba gear, and he's got like he's got like three or four girls just like doing everything for him, but totally pampering him. And I'm just sitting there going, God, I, <laughs> God, I freaking hate this fucking guy. Who's this guy, you know? And so I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, and and it's starting to annoy me, you know. So now I'm getting pissed, you know. I'm starting to get like, you know what? I'm ready to go tell that guy that you know he's a piece of crap, you know. I want to go beat him up or something. So actually, I get up. Oh, I'm sorry. I get up and I start like walking to him. And as I get closer, I'm going, I'm looking. I'm going, oh my god, I think I know that guy. And then as I got closer, I realized that it was Eddie. And um, and I knew, and I had known Eddie from way back, but but we, uh, you know, I hadn't seen him in a, in a long time. And it just it was just like Eddie, what are you doing around all these girls? Hey, man, you don't want to come play guitar out and back out in OC and and. Uh, he did. He, he said yes, and, and ever since I then it's to been. I keep a, the girls rolling. Too. <laughs> it's really helped it. Well, the, the the funny thing is, is that from the very moment I showed up to play, and I've been in a million bands. Um, my pedigree goes back to Heavy Dirt, Orange County, uh, kind of favorite cult band, uh, Doggy Style. Um, Dave and I together in a band called My Big Mouth and also Juicy, which is kind of a, a big beat uh, version of rock and roll. Um, and the, the funny thing is, I've been in a million bands, and bands take work, especially to start to gel. It usually takes you a good, you know... Million um, years? Yeah, million years, sometimes, million sometimes a million years. There you go. From the very first practice, from the very first note, it was it was awesome. I mean, it was just like... I mean, you hear stories of, way, of certain bands that have a lot of, um, I guess, just, I guess, a lot of chemistry. And um, I would say within, like, one week, of uh, maybe two or three practices, um, we had ninety percent of what you're hearing right now. It was magical. You can say it. it was magical. <laughs> All right, so let me, let me get this, let you me said get this it, straight. Not me. It's got to be luck. And let me get this straight. You two are cruising around Hollywood Boulevard and pick him out of the thousands of nuts that are out I there, thought, well, beating the sidewalk with sticks. I mean, I don't know how you were able to tell he was a drummer. Well, I mean, when I threw the there. change at him, one Destiny. of them stuck to his forehead. Okay. And I, you know, it was kind of funny. So you, just, you were uh, able to pick the, the, shall we say, the needle out of the haystack of all the nuts in Hollywood that, like I said, are beating on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Through him, he goes to the beach, finds some guy that's like totally capitalizing on the honeys, getting them to do scuba whatever. Diving. Yeah, you're scuba diving. diving. My okay. secret lobster spot. So, so, so you got a guy in a frog suit. So you got a nut from Hollywood and a guy <laughs> in a frog suit that, that make the band become sick. That, that, you know what, this, this is, is sick. sick Eddie. Now this is where it gets really funny. I'm already laughing. Well, okay, okay. Go we're ahead. Get ready to really laugh. But Sick right. Eddie. Bust a nut. Okay. Be rolling. Sick Eddie is. <laughs> Easy there. Wait, can I, ask, can I ask some of that? <laughs> Sick, Sick Eddie is actually. This uh, is uh, good. No one's quite sure. We, we, we named this band after 
a real person, so we think, because Sick Eddie is an actual um, kind of a larger than life, semi mythical, semi real person. And it's someone that we used to hear about, hear about uh, way back, like in the mid 80s. And um, I've never met the person, and I don't remember who used to tell me the stories, but apparently this guy was kind of like the father of the Southern California punk scene. That's kind of um, something we all had in common, too. We all had heard of him. Yeah, it's just kind of our way of paying homage to... Paying homage to the, this, this man. Kind of, kind of paying homage to um, maybe old punk. Because, don't get me wrong, I love pop punk. I think it's a great force. I think it's a legitimate music style. But I think the hardcore and good old punk is starting to kind of make a comeback. And I think some of the values that were lost in the pop punk scene are starting to kind of be reasserted now. Um, and that's what Sick Eddie stands for. Uh, Sick Eddie was a visionary, so we've heard, and a great, um, great skateboarder. Uh, awesome, awesome. Supposedly he's like the best skateboarder you know OC's ever seen. Okay. And uh, so that's basically the story behind the name of the band. All right. So I guess the equivalent of this would be if you guys were a Christian band, you'd be called Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe. So. You can call us that anyway. All right, so anyways, now you've got the, the dirt on, on where the sick Eddie came from, because she doesn't look like Eddie. He's named Eddie, but he doesn't look too sick. Nothing um, to do with it. Nothing. All right, so again, like I said earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, about a month ago or so, you guys did your first show at the Gypsy Lounge, which I was at, and it was a really good show. They had a good uh, turnout. People were actually staying until last call, you know, and if you know anything about most people in clubs anymore, they like just bail after like 11 o'clock, like, oh, I gotta go home and go to work, I'm gonna lose her, I'm lame. I came Anyways. for one band, oh, I'm not gonna stick her out. Oh, my girlfriend's band's gone, I'm gonna go home, beat off, whatever. Anyways, so what's in the works for, for Sick Eddie right now? What do you guys got going on? I know uh, I heard a new song tonight that I didn't hear at the set, so I know you guys are working on songs. We've got new stuff? Definitely, we're, yeah. we're right a ton. I mean, we're just, we're just a... a work, work, work. On, yeah. On the new, uh, new stuff. Polish that up and uh, get it recorded. Our plans, uh, we, we, we want to go into the studio in the, in the next two weeks, and I would say within, within a month from now, we plan on at least having four or five new songs recorded, and that's what we want to put on our, our CD, and we're going to make it available, um, probably on MySpace, you, you send us a, a, an envelope with uh, your address and probably five bucks to cover shipping and handling, we'll send it out. Um, Damn, that's almost free. Almost, yeah, pretty much. It is free. Yeah. I mean, we're not, we're not, you know. Right now, it's, you know, steal our music for free right now, anyway, while it's on there. There you so. go, get the music out there. Yeah. Then, then so you the songs, yeah, they're downloadable what now. About, what about your exercise tapes? Are you going to offer those, or? The, they can hit me up personally okay. for that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Something, something about that. Remember, the first one's free, we make you pay for the rest. Buns of platinum, or? Buns of platinum. <laughs> Don't tell my secrets. <laughs> to contact me personally for my secrets. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> that also, um, we've got probably, um, at the moment, we've probably got about 30 or, 30 or 40 songs that we have in the works. Um, just really, really a prolific writing band. And um, it's just all we can do uh, due to time and, you know, budget to get these songs recorded. And uh, we're already kind of um, working on a new sound, too. So... Keep it fresh. So you guys are like definitely delving into different areas yes. as far as the music goes. Definitely, definitely. Right, very I cool. think you hear that probably even Robbie, the stuff we do. I mean, it, it sounds funny, and you, I mean, you probably laugh your ass off listening to this, but Robbie's actually um, been heavily influenced by um, Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> and he's actually brought some songs. Let me get out of the middle of this one. Yeah, you know, he's bringing some songs, and you know what? It took me, I mean, he argued and, and argued with me about maybe doing a cover of one of those songs as we did White Rabbit which was I Jackson think Airplane. Dre's, Dre's choice. My, my choice. Um, and uh, finally after a couple really heated arguments um, we sat down I think, and I think what's, what's that song Bloody called? What? Don't Go Changing? They're, they're gonna be. Yeah it's gonna be Don't Go Changing. Don't Go Changing. Change. That just means there's passion in the music. If they're the hell out of each other that means that yeah you're getting quality. Now I drew, the line, show, I drew the line. I drew the line. still all be scabby, oh, yeah. bruised, and bloodied. I drew the line on Joan Baez. I, I I'm not gonna do Joan Baez. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> please. What you're not so vain. Please. Some, if you want to hear some time. good dead oh. candidates come out now. <laughs> I just think Joan Baez did a. I don't know. Oh, she might have done a cover, but you, you know, know what? I'm not into all that old '70s stuff. As as you can tell, 
Duh, hello. Anyways, all right, real quick. Where can they get a hold of you guys? Where? Well, you mentioned the MySpace, but where else can they get a hold of you guys? Uh, get information. Sickeddy.com is uh, under construction and currently being a, got my web designers working on it right now. So, but MySpace is probably the best place at the at the moment. Um, or other through you guys. Or you can see Dave on Hollywood. Flash through here, Flash, FlashRock.com. Yeah, MySpace.com forward slash Sick Eddie Music or FlashRock. Never know, I might just uh, pop on by and say hi on your little uh, radio show there again. You know, we've always got artists that have been doing webcasts and uploading their stuff, popping in, calling up. So remember, you guys out there that have got your stuff uploaded, feel free to come on in, feel free to call up. Uh, you know, you don't hear your song being played enough, go, Yo, you sorry sons call. of bitches, play my song! We See, will. I came in, we will. had a good time, played our songs. I'm having a good time. I'm All right, so I can reach you on... <laughs> it's a moment. Uh, this is my best webcast yet. <laughs> Anyways, well, I'm really glad you guys came in. Um, you know, I'm sure there's more shows coming up, so if you guys want to find out where Sick Eddie's playing next, just log on to their MySpace and check it out. Again, I'm that fucking guy. You this are is that Sick fucking Eddie. guy, and don't you forget it. I wear it like a badge. Not just that whiny little bitch, either. <laughs> I'll be real. Smacker, smacker, smacker. Hey, I pay good money for this usually, and I'm getting it free tonight, so. <laughs> Alright, tell me who's the one little bitch now, alright? Huh? Tune in the Flash Rot, check out the webcast, check out the songs, check out the artists. Any of you musicians looking for bands or artists, we got that going on too, because we're not just full of cool bands that we play here. We got a musician's referral service as well. All right, any of you other bands that think you're up to the task of playing Flash Rock Live, check out this site. We've got the performance agreement, all the information you need to know, and what it takes to be on Flash Rock Live. Again, because I'm an egotistical bastard, I'm that fucking guy. This is Sick Eddie. Sick Eddie. Yeah, you turned into another great show. One of these days, we'll get a hot, bodacious young honey to host it. But until then, oh, it's me, baby. So hot Peace. anyway. Thanks. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, here we go. It's all love here. Good. Right on, you guys. Good. Funny stuff, man. Thanks a lot for coming down. Thanks. Great performance. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. All right, that, that, that's my handshake. If I get anything else, I'm disappointed. Thank you, guys. Good job, young lady. Yeah. I'm looking forward to what you guys have. I have to. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take a picture of you guys. This just took me to another realm. It wasn't here. It wasn't on this earth. I went somewhere else, and it was just total peace and joy. Welcome back to Flash Rock Live. I got no smart ass remarks for you tonight because the band you're about to see has got enough attitude for all of us. Sick Eddie.